Welcome, uh, it's David from Castro. Uh, I, uh, I'm going to talk a little bit about um, which type of grind to choose on your knife. Uh, now, grinds is something that is a lot of uh, a lot to do with just preference, and some people prefer like a Scandi grind or a full flat grind or a hollow grind. Uh, and in general, there's some guidance that can be given if somebody uh, is wondering which grind to choose for their particular type of uh, knife that they need. So, what I what I normally try and um, pin down is is what you're going to use the knife for. So. Is it going to be for mainly for hunting, or is it going to be mainly for uh, yeah starting fires, so chopping up kindling and batoning and things like that? Is it going to be mainly for wood carving? Is it going to be for game prep, skinning? What kind of animals do you deal with if you're a hunter and you you mainly do it use it for for um, game preparation? And um, so those are some of the questions you you need to think about now. So in general, we at Castrum we have three types of grinds that we offer. We have what is called the Scandinavian grind. So the Scandinavian grind is a um, uh, it's a short flat grind that is um, around um, yeah, between six to uh, eight millimeters in length. It's quite a um, an acute angle. Um, the angles are between sort of 25 to 30 degrees, depending on the model. Um, this type of grind is very good for precision carving, also for splitting wood, and um, so and it's also good for all-round use. But typically, it's quite a durable um, type of grind, and it's very easy to maintain. So uh, very easy to sharpen. You just lay down the flat um, grind on your flat stone, and it's it's that easy to find your angle. So. This type of grind is very easy to use in the field. So if you're out for you know, a, kind of a, a few overnighters out in the forest, or even like a month away, canoeing or something like that, uh, this type of grind is really good because it's strong. Uh, it's gonna it's gonna last for a long time, and when it uh, when you do lose its edge, it's very easy to resharpen. The other type of of grind that we also uh, have in our range is the full flat grind. Um, so this is our number 10 knife and um, it's got a, a full flat grind uh, on the stain um, stabilized version uh, you can see that the grind starts all the way uh, by the spine and then gradually becomes thinner and thinner towards the edge this is the uh, the same type of grind that you have on something like a kitchen knife and um, now on these uh, knives uh, the actual blade is thicker than it would be on a typical kitchen knife to make it stronger um, but this type of full flat grind where the blade becomes thinner and thinner and then there's a small secondary uh, bevel at the end by the edge um, that is very good for cutting so it slices very well so uh, this type of grind is particularly good for skinning for uh, game prep cutting meat, uh, all those sort of sort of things. You can also carve with it, you can also use it um, for other um, purposes, but typically uh, it excels at slicing, not so much chopping or splitting or wood carving. Um, in the right hands, it's an excellent carving tool, but um, typically uh, it's a little bit harder to sharpen. Um, and that is because um, the uh, the edge on the on the knife um, is so short that you don't get any support when you're putting it down on your uh, sharpening stone. So you have to know that you're getting a, the correct angle that you want when you're when you're sharpening this kind of blade. So in general, I would say that that's a good knife to use for a hunter and for somebody who likes to have a knife that is a good slicer. This is not such a good uh, chopping. Uh, tool or something to split wood with and um, because of the thinness behind the edge on, on uh, the full flat grinds typically they're a little bit more prone to damage if you hit a uh, um, you know, something like a, a, a knot in the wood or if um, uh, you accidentally pry with it in the wrong place and you might chip off a piece uh, of the uh, blade which is it's not um, not ideal in particular if you're off on a long trip or something like that um, the third type of grind that we do is um, 
um, a hollow grind and this is really very similar to the full flat grind so it's it's hollow in that it's there's a wheel that's that's ground out the the bevel the main bevel and it, it results in the knife being very thin um, behind the edge and this is a really really good slicing tool this is an even uh, weaker tool in relation to the full flat grind but it also cuts even better than the full flat grind um, and um, therefore it's particularly suited to uh, skinning knives for hunting use and also for fish filleting work um, and food prep so this safari knife for instance from our range which is designed by Alan Wood that has that typical um, hollow grind on it just to make it a really good slicer and um, uh, it, this is really not the tool that you should try and split wood with or pry with or do anything like that other than cutting stuff with it and um, so slicing and cutting is a great um, then then it's a great choice to choose a, a hollow grind like this um, so yeah that's a, a quick overview of the different grinds and, and the main benefits of, of the different grinds so uh, hopefully that's a little bit of help for you and um, yeah we'll uh, see you next time all the best